So, if you didn't know, I'm moving, and uh, moving entails doing a lot of bullshit, and some of that bullshit entails putting a bunch of shit away. So, what I just did was I put all my fucking clothes that I'm not gonna need where I'm moving until December or January um, in this box behind me, and now I have three or two crates open to doing that shit back there my shelves so moving 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 this shit is a struggle uh, i've never moved in my life uh well i have but i wasn't conscious i guess for it because i was very young um but i have never moved in my life so this is a uh, first time for everybody kind of sort of thing so I have shelves and junk drawers and shit to go through. So, and I have posters to take down and shit, so. Time lapse. So, shelves behind me are now empty. That is, actually took uh, not as long as I expected it to take. So that is one crate filled up. Now we just have that bottom crate to fill with the drawers of not only, I think this dresser, because I think this dresser has some stuff that I have yet to empty out of it, and those two drawers. Right down there. Ooh. On. I don't, I'm bad with those sticks. Boom, drawers, right there. Yeah, time to get that shit fucking done. slowly but surely making its way to being done uh the setup still gotta come down um some shit's gotta come down off the wall it's been a couple days and it's it's been it's been ruthless on me it's been taxing on my mental um it's just been weird you know uh living in the place you grew up in you know for so long it's just kind of weird uh, <clears throat> moving, you know, but it's to a better place, and to be honest, it's kind of fun doing crazy shit, so, you know what, I don't even really fucking care that I'm a little uncomfortable with what's happening, because I know it's going to be for the better of me, and I think I might be able to get a job lined up, so... We'll see. It just keeps getting emptier and emptier. My room is starting to sound different, which it hasn't sounded different in years. And it's, it's, really, it's really driven me out. But um, uh, it's very, very empty. I have uh, more shit, obviously, to go through. Like, I have a whole dresser right there to take down, uh, clean under, and I have just I just have a lot to do so I uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear off my floor and I'm going to get to vacuuming all of the spots that I fucking can besides the shit under my bed so um, while that's going I'll play you a little voiceover of what I have to say 
about um, why uh, being hygienic as as a younger teenager uh, is good for for future you. So, you know, shower and don't wipe boogers on your carpet. That's not good for anybody. Day three. <clears throat> um, it's about to get a lot more rearranged in here, a little bit more spacious. Uh, I have lots of things to go through in here. I have to go through under my bed. I have to clean out under this dresser. Man, this shit is gonna be tough today. Uh, but you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, all for the YouTube video, I guess. As the, uh, evening of day three day whatever it is of doing this shit um falls uh burgers have been consumed and many dump runs have been made and it's been a very long arduous journey today but in all honesty the move is going pretty good it's going relatively smoothly other than the day that we leave we have to do a couple dump runs which <clears throat> they don't take too long but you know, I have some packing in here to do still. It's still very, very weird. It's still it's still kind of daunting to me, the fact that this is my my childhood home and the place that I'm I'm most used to and I'm I'm moving. Seven hundred miles fucking that way. It's weird. And I'm it's gonna take a while to get used to. But I'm gonna post this journey to when we finally get our house set up. Uh, videos probably will be made along the way, but not many, so we'll see. <sighs> Last day, full day. Um, room is pretty much done. I just have to load it all up into the truck uh, I have to take my down my desk and my bed, and that's it. Um, I still have a lot of work to do in the shed. I still have a lot of work to do around here. It's been a rough couple of days. I'm at kind of a low point right now, but you know it. <clears throat> it's how it goes. Yeah, uh, last night it was my last game of Fortnite. Um, in this room yeah so it's time for me to take it all down time lapse I'm just now discovering the 4k feature on this um day four not fun at all it's full of crying moving shit my fucking ankles hurt I'm tired my eyes hurt my ears hurt I'm hurt my room is so empty It's like a liminal space. It's it's horrible. I hate it. I just want to get away from this so I'm as far away from my tainted childhood tainted childhood memories as possible. And it's not even really the moving that sucks. It's just leaving behind all of these memories 
of when I was a little kid, I would film YouTube videos in that corner where my bed is. And that corner used to be my desk. And I would film YouTube videos on my mom's laptop, which I have, because I want to see if I can find those old YouTube videos and edit them the way that they should be. So, I love this place. You know, I love the memories that it holds. It's gonna be crazy letting go, but it has to be done. I'm kind of over the tears at this point. It's more just kind of shock and awe and um, frustration and denial. Uh, I'm editing right now some of this video. Um, this video is going to be long. This video is going to be in two parts and there's going to be a long talk section at the end of this video and the Fortnite segment, which I haven't got to yet. So I will add the Fortnite segment in last as a final send off for the final video filmed and edited at this house. So, thank you guys for being a part of this journey. Tomorrow, we make three dump runs, and we fucking leave. I'll vlog the drive too, don't worry. Day, whatever, last day. Um, besides, yesterday was the last day of doing some shit um it's like eight in the morning right now i have to get ready to do a couple dump runs before we leave um so we can get them done this sucks i hope everybody who's moving right now who's watching this video um best of luck because moving sucks you guys are absolute fucking stone walls. This shit is taking a toll on me. I am getting rocked. <sighs> empty, 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 empty. Got a vacuum and then my room is complete. So, it's, this is gonna suck almost noon everybody and their mother is freaking out right now um, because we're probably not gonna make it out before five so but maybe everybody should have started cleaning when I did but whatever that's their problem I have more work to do uh, it's about noon we're probably not gonna get out of here until 6:30, 7:30. So we're probably not going to get to the hotel until about 1 or 2 in the morning. I will vlog some of the drive. It's going to be crazy. So a couple hours have passed. It's died down. Uh, everybody's not, you know, freaking out anymore over nothing. And uh, it's just kind of easier to work. Whoa, I just stepped in a fucking hole. It's just kind of easier to work. Um... We got a bunch of bullshit done, so. In Mother Nature, there are only three absolutes. Death. Life. And your mom being a fucking dumbass. Well, parents. Because I just want a li- just soapbox moment. I started packing on Monday. Um, my mom said I had jumped the gun. Jumped the gun? Bitch, we were supposed to leave on Monday. Jump the gun? What do you mean jump the gun? It's the week beforehand. Yeah, I'm gonna start packing up all my shit. I 
don't know. It's just weird that she would be fucking against me doing that. So, you know, um, I have to deal with these guys just being annoying for a little while. I love them, but it's just having to deal with people that you live with all the time being fucking pissed off is annoying if you just want to chill because you are stressed already and you just want to chill. I don't yell at people when I'm stressed. I fucking go, yup, I'm stressed. I'm stressed out because, and I don't want to make it worse by acting like it. It's makes me crazy, but you know, we power through. But in other news, uh, moving's going really well. We got an extra day because we had to. And um, my dad and friend right now are doing a dump run. So we uh, wait. We wait. I'm home alone with the belly. They're leaving right now. My mom and dad are gone right now. So it's just me and this little dog right here. Belly. Wanna say hi to the camera? Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? <laughs> she said hi to the camera. Um, but I just want this to be over with. Tomorrow we leave. And tomorrow, I'm I'm done, actually, really. I'm, I actually have a reason to leave because I am so done taking my shit out of here. It's getting annoying. So I, I actually would like to leave now. Thank you. Um, yes, it's still my childhood home. Yes, it's still going to be sad. Honestly, now, I don't really give a fuck. I've been dwelling on it for a couple days. And now it's just getting to the point where I don't want to dwell on it anymore. So no more dwelling and I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to chill. Honestly, as it stands right now, I'm really just trying to get the fuck out of this house. Um, look, looking at it continues to just make me feel worse about leaving and I want to leave as soon as possible so I don't feel so bad about leaving. Um, doing this is not really the hard part. Doing all the moving and stuff, it's just the trying to let go. Um, I'm probably going to be fine. My brain, it's, it's just memories and that's okay. Um, I'm, I've pretty much let go of it at this point, but still, I just feel bad. Um, we have an extra day to do our shit, but of course, you know, they're chillaxing and I'm, you know, stuck doing shit. So, I'm gonna get back to it. Um, I'll update you guys either later tonight or tomorrow. Morning falls on the actual final day we're getting just the bare minimum uh into the truck we're gonna have to go get a tow hitch for my mom's car i'm um, gonna get an extra trailer because we're not gonna be able to fit all this stuff in here um we're shooting to be out by noon so i'll update you guys on when we're out because i don't think it'll be noon first it's gonna be like three moving's different for everybody like my parents, my dad has never moved out of state in his life, and he's 48. My mom has moved and driven across the country many times. It's not a big deal for her. I have never gone anywhere else than Primeville in my life. So not only is it going to be, um, like, way different, it's going to be way more awesome. Um, so... We'll update you guys on the process as we go. It's not obvious. Uh, it is not, you know, noon. Uh, we're getting there, though. We're going to get an extra trailer very soon. We're going to get 
uh, all of our stuff put away. It's just taking a little bit longer than we originally estimated. So um, we'll probably be out of here by three. Um, everybody's just screaming at each other. I just, I don't give a fuck. Um, you know, so anyhow, Tuesday, day six or whatever, five, 10, 43, whatever. I don't fucking know what day it is, but uh, we are going to get it done. Um, cut to right before we leave. So not cutting to um, when we leave, but cutting to when my dad uh, is now going to get the trailer. Uh, we're gonna load this shit up and we're gonna tow it. You know, U-Haul towing U-Haul. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be a crazy drive down there. It's gonna be like five and a half, six hours of just straight fucking just gas down to uh, Winnemucca. So we are going down uh, to Northern Nevada and uh, then we're heading straight there. So I'll uh, give you guys an update of when we leave. So quick update, it is 2.30 uh, and we are still waiting for this trailer. Definitely we are not getting in on the road by three. Um, we are getting on the road probably by about 3.30. Um, I have the cats uh, in my room right now. My cats in my room. They're in their crates. It sucks. They hate it. Yeah, whatever. I mean, we're moving. What else do you need? What else do you want to do? Um, so, it's just... Uh, I'm done with it. I'm tired. I'm I'm burnt out. Uh, I don't want to be here anymore because I don't like I don't like this place anymore because of all of the shit that I had to drag out of it. Um, I don't like this place anymore because of all the shit that I had to clean up. I can't really go in my room uh, without just being kind of grossed out by it because my I used to be so nasty. Um, so. And that's one of my cats breaking out, trying to, um, you know, moving. I'll actually cut to me getting on the road. The trailer is now, uh, being dropped off at the house and, um, it's time to pack up the bare necessities. Ellie! Dude. Damn it. Damn it, get out of here. It's time to pack up the bare necessities. So, um, finally, after days of this bullshit, we're done. We're gonna be done. So, yeah. Everybody's excited. Everybody's ready to get this shit out of the way. We have pile right here. One, two, three things right there. Pile right here, pile out there. That's it. So we have four more piles to go of stuff that will one billion percent fit in that fucking trailer. And uh, now we just get to it. So it's about 20, 420. It's, it's, I think it's about 420 or 425 or something. And we're finally done. You know, we're done. Um, this is going to be a really long dr first drive. We're driving down to Winnemucca. So we're going to go down to the hotel get our shit in order. I am ready. I'm ready. My body is ready. Um, thanks for all the memories. For sure. But, uh, to be honest, I won't, I won't really miss it in weeks time. So, you know, again, thanks for the memories, but yeah, this place kind of is not it, so. So we reached uh, 
Burns, which is the middle of nowhere. We're about to go enter a, uh, a forbidden promised land. We're about to enter the Burns DQ. I, I don't think I've ever been conscious enough to remember Burns at all, because I remember Burns being like a house. But obviously I'm wrong. So we're gonna get, you know, food. At this, this DQ, they have code red on the fountain. some tiny Nevada town called McDermott or some shit because of course <clears throat> we landed in yeah as soon as we drove in we saw a gas station which was lucky but we also saw a casino I mean no surprise there but you know we finally landed and uh, we have I think it's a, I think it's about a 50 mile venture to Winnemucca so meet you there about 11 we just uh, got to the motel in Winnemucca I honestly didn't expect this place to be so big it's like a big not like a big but it's like a smaller like city it looks really fucking awesome um this ho this motel looks fine I'm probably gonna get a really good night's sleep after that fucking drive um stay tuned I'll show you guys our like vacation home when we land there tomorrow good morning in Winnemucca uh, I took a shower earlier we're about to hit the hay uh hit the hay hit the road again um uh from here to las vegas is about a seven hour trip so uh i will keep you know recording the drive i don't know where the fuck my selfie stick went um i will record most of the drive or at least little clips of it but uh yeah it's gonna be another long one so Oh, and we have to have the fucking U-Haul back by two tomorrow. So, yay. So my mom just called me wondering what all the uh, stuff on the road that was moving was. And apparently all this shit is Mormon crickets. Look ooh, at all of them. Oh my god! It's like a bunch of pebbles on the road, but they're all crickets. Nasty. And she is not hot, if you're wondering. So, we figured out that our U-Haul is leaking uh, through its gas tank. So, we're gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. It's probably gonna be fine, but, because it's like a drip drop, but still. Look it was old. at it was these you know, that's mountains. Like jobs. Oh my it goodness. Can you so it? fucking cool, like dude. Peak. And oh, people say the wilderness out here is boring. Okay. Look at that, dude. Okay, it's like a Minecraft biome. So, if you didn't know, I'm moving. And uh, we're like 20 miles out of Vegas. I'm so fucking ready to be done with this drive. Um, it's been about like six hours, six and a half, seven hours. I am tweaking the fuck out. I want out of this U-Haul. I want to take a shit. I want to smoke some weed. This sucks. The move hasn't been bad. It's just this fucking drive is... Bang is the only hand that's gonna be. 
So as we speak, uh, I am at the Airbnb. This is the bedroom that we're working with. We're in a little bit of a sketch part of town, but you know, honestly, it doesn't really matter. I'm just happy to be here. Um, so, you know, since I'm here now, thanks, you know? I made a lot of memories in that old room. And um, yeah. So if we're gonna get some food, I'll update you on the food that we get. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Fearless.